Hey guys, EBP Man here, and now it's been two weeks since I've been testing out the brand new LG 2020 AK Nanocell TV, and I have to say that I've been having an amazing experience with it. And in this video, I wanted to share not only my experience, but also how you can personalize this TV to get the best viewing experience. So let's check it out. I can see the road ahead of me. Now in this video, we're going to be covering four basic features that are going to give you the best viewing experience possible. These are the things that I've changed, and this is what I would recommend you do as soon as you get your NanoCell TV. First of all, we're going to talk about video settings. We're also going to cover the audio settings, and one of the things that makes this TV so amazing and gives you this kind of picture quality is we're going to talk about the AI settings and the things that you need to change to get the best viewing experience. And last, we're going to talk about personalization settings, giving you the ability to add the apps that you want get them in the order that you like to see them in, and where you'll be able to enjoy this TV to the fullest. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now before continuing this review and sharing with you my personalization settings to get the best viewing experience, I wanted to stop and share with you what this TV is really all about. And it's about this image quality. We're streaming in 8K this content, and you can see how deep the blacks are. We're talking about ink black. You can see how the colors are so vibrant. You can see the actual definition that you're seeing in all these images, how vibrant the colors are. And also, this is not just about a video experience, right? It's not just about what you can see, but it's also about what you can hear. So LG is giving you the full experience. We're talking about great visuals and also great audio. And as you can see here, this image quality is absolutely stunning. Now the first area that you should visit to get the best viewing experience is your picture mode area. So we're going to go here to the very top and we're going to choose uh, this section here. Now there are several settings that you can choose. Filmmaker is one area that I recommend you check out because this is going to give you the ability to see the movie or the video as the director intended it to be viewed. So this is a cool setting. I, ha however, have been using standard throughout all my viewing experience because I think that that's the viewing experience that I prefer the most. But you can go ahead and make those changes to get the best viewing experience that you'd like. Now the next area that you want to visit is the audio area. Because remember, this TV is much more than just video. It's also about the audio experience. So you notice the first thing I have enabled is my Dolby Atomos. I also am going to change my sound mode. Now there are several sound modes that you can choose from. Um, let's go ahead and choose a couple of them here. So I have chosen AI Sound Pro, but you also then have Clear Voice 2. And what I like about Clear Voice 2 is it gives you the ability to hear the voices in a lot of the movies that you may not hear because of your hearing. So if you have difficulty hearing a movie, the voices in the movie, uh, because of all the explosions and all the action, you may want to choose this uh, Clear Voice 2. Uh, my preference, though, is to choose AI Sound Pro because I want the most rich, most immersive experience when it comes to audio. Now this TV also features the Amazon Alexa Assistant as well as the Google Assistant. Now, to get those to work though, you have to be connected to the internet. Connecting it to the internet is going to allow you to stream all your content, it's going to allow you to use both assistants, and if you have any smart devices in your home, if you're talking about the thermostat, the doorbell, any of the smart devices in your home will be able to be reached and connected through this TV. Now under AI service, there are several controls that we're going to enable here as well. For example, AI brightness. AI brightness is going to control the brightness of the TV based on the lighting of the room that you're in. So make sure you enable that so you can get the best viewing experience in that area as well. Now the next setting that you're going to have enabled is going to be the acoustic tuning. Acoustic tuning is going to look at the Magic Remote and it's going to use the mic to calibrate the audio experience based on the room that you're in. Now another area that this TV excels in is in gameplay. So if you want to connect your Xbox, your PlayStation, or even your PC, you can. This TV features AMD FreeSync technology, giving you 4K at 120 hertz. And I'll tell you, my experience has been stutter-free, awesome images. And as you can see here, conventional versus nano cell. The nano cell technology really makes a difference when it comes to gameplay and also image clarity. When you're also looking at motion, there is no stutter. You're talking about smooth graphics, smooth images throughout my entire experience. So if you have a PlayStation, if you have an Xbox, or you have a PC, and you want to check out gameplay on this TV, it's definitely a must do. Now the next area that you're going to want to visit is going to be the LG Content Store, because in this area you're going to be able to download all of your streaming apps. As you can see here, you have Disney+, Plus, you also have YouTube TV, you have YouTube, Stars, all of the services are available, and you'll be able to download them and start streaming immediately. Now once you've downloaded all of your content, you may want to organize things a little bit differently. So as you can see here, here I have all the apps that I've downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to Xfinity, I'm going to press and hold on the mouse button, and I'm going to just drag it over to an area that I want it in, and then pressing again will allow me to personalize it right in the area that I want it. Now the last area I recommend that you visit and you have it running all day is the art mode. Uh, you're able to get some fantastic looking realistic 
art on your TV. And especially at 75 inches, this makes a wonderful showcase piece, especially if you have it mounted on a wall. These have been all the configuration settings that I've enabled on my LG TV to get the best experience that I'd like to have in my home. If you'd like to learn more about this product, make sure you watch our unboxing video where you'll see even more details about our viewing experience and more features. See you in the next one.